Hello little kids, today's story title is The Mice and the Elephants. Once upon a time, in a dense forest, there lived a group of mice under a large ancient tree. They lived peacefully, going about their daily lives without any worries. The mice had built cozy little homes in the roots of the tree, and they lived happily together as a community. One day, a herd of elephants came through the forest. They were a majestic sight, their large bodies moving gracefully through the trees. However, as they passed by the tree where the mice lived, disaster struck. The elephants, unaware of the tiny creatures living below, accidentally trampled over the mouse homes, crushing many of them to death. The king of the mice, a wise old mouse named Raja, was heartbroken by the loss of his fellow mice. He knew something had to be done to prevent such a tragedy from happening again. So he called a meeting of all the mice in the forest. My fellow mice, Raja began, we cannot continue living in fear of the elephants. We must find a way to coexist peacefully with them. The other mice were skeptical. But how can we, small and fragile as we are, live peacefully with such large and powerful creatures? They asked. Raja thought for a moment and then came up with a plan. I will go and speak to the chief of the elephant herd. Perhaps if we can guide them to another route, they will not come near our homes. The other mice agreed to Raja's plan and so he set off to find the elephant chief. It took him many days of searching, but finally, he found the elephant herd resting near a river. Approaching the elephant chief respectfully, Raja said, Great chief, I come to you with a request. Your herd's passage through our forest has caused great harm to my fellow mice. I humbly request that you consider taking another route to the water so as to avoid further destruction of our homes. The elephant chief, surprised by the tiny mouse's bravery, listened attentively to Raja's request. After a moment of thought, he replied, I understand your concerns and I agree to your request. We shall find another route to the water, one that does not pass near your homes. And so, the elephant chief guided his herd through a different path, away from the tree where the mice lived. The mice were grateful for the elephant chief's understanding and cooperation, and they lived peacefully once again. Years passed, and the mice and the elephants continued to live harmoniously in the forest. The mice would often scurry around the feet of the elephants, cleaning their ears and sharing stories. One day, however, a group of elephant hunters entered the forest. They set up huge nets to trap the elephants, planning to sell their tusks for a profit. The elephant herd, unaware of the danger, walked right into the trap and soon found themselves ensnared in the hunter's nets. The elephant king, remembering the kindness of the mouse king Raja, called upon one of his elephants who had not been trapped to go and seek help from the mice. The elephant quickly made his way to the tree where the mice lived and relayed the dire situation to Raja. Without hesitation, Raja called upon his fellow mice and they set out to help their friends, the elephants. Using their sharp teeth, the mice gnawed through the thick nets, setting the trapped elephants free. The hunters, realizing their trap had failed, fled from the forest, never to return. The elephant king was overjoyed at being freed, and he thanked Raja and the mice for their bravery and loyalty. From that day on, the bond between the mice and the elephants grew even stronger, and they lived together in peace and harmony. A true example of cooperation and friendship in the animal kingdom. The moral of the story is that kindness, cooperation and understanding can overcome even the greatest of obstacles. By working together and helping one another, we can create a harmonious and peaceful world for all beings, no matter how big or small they may be. So little kids, if you enjoyed this story, please like, comment and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more entertaining and educational stories like this one. Thank you for watching.